The Texas Education Agency is set to release school scores this month and districts are bracing for lower grades. Now this follows the TEA announcing new metrics for its A through F ratings. KXAN investigator reporter Kelly Wiley reports that another local school district is joining an ongoing lawsuit against the state's education commissioner over these changes and there could be more. This is bonkers. It's absolutely infuriating. The fairness in the accountability system is in question right now. Pflugerville ISD is the latest school district to join a lawsuit against the Texas Education Commissioner. 7-0. We're joining the lawsuit. Yes, ma'am. For our kids. Already seven school districts, including Del Valley ISD, have joined this lawsuit, alleging TEA didn't give them the legally required amount of notice before applying these new metrics. The districts say these new methods will dramatically decrease their campus and district scores. TEA officials say they can't comment on ongoing legal matters, but on the agency's website, it says the changes will better reflect rigor for students, fairness for districts and campuses, and transparency for parents and the public. Here's what Commissioner Mike Morath said about the refresh back in May. As schools are improving, you know, uh, parents need to know that, and if, and if schools are 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 not, if they're regressing, then parents need to know that as well. I think you know we're going to see statewide probably a decline in scores and we, we in a decline in ratings. At a board meeting at the end of August, Austin ISD school officials said TEA data estimates if the new state metrics were applied to the 2022 campus results, more than 20 percent of AISD campuses would have lower scores and only 9 percent would have seen an increase. I have a uh, concern about when ratings come out that there will be um, misunderstanding and a mass exodus. We need to have a good messaging around these scores and what they really mean. And there are a lot of changes. A lot of it is around the grading scale for what scores qualify as an A versus a B or a C. Previously, if 60% of a high school campus's population was considered college, career, and military ready, that campus would get an A. Now, a campus would need an 88% to get an A in that category. You know, this is kind of a lot for us parents to digest. Can you give us another example that maybe helps us understand? Absolutely. So the scale is also changed for graduation rates. That's considered how many, what's your graduation rate for your campus that goes into this score and then you'll remember star results also goes into this score but the star test is different now too mm -hmm. the star test results that they're considering are off of a completely redesigned test so there's a lot of new that's going into these scores and that's what's really got these school districts nervous you explain it really well don't quiz me on it though <laughs> kelly <laughs> exactly. thank you so much for joining us today in studio thank you there's